make sure he's healthy. And when he come back, we'll see him on the practice field, making plays, throwing the ball in the air, getting picks, all of these things to prepare to play. And I all right, here's our Travis Hunter update for the ASU game. Looked like he will be out uh, based off of the post that we've seen on social media from Jackson State. We've seen him um, not in, in full pass, not participating in any drills. As a matter of fact, we've seen him, you know, playing the quarterback with the coach, um, throwing balls, uh, tossing it to the coach so the coach can pass the ball in the drills. We haven't seen him, haven't seen him participating in any drills as of yet. Uh, we all know that it's not easy to get back into game shape. We haven't seen him play since the first game. So it would be, uh, it won't be a situation where he will be able to just jump back in and start back playing and be at the level he's, he was at when he came in and, uh, without any real practicing and real updates, um, like that so we, we would see him on the field uh in full pads full go before we would even think that he'll be playing a game um just coming straight from off the sidelines to playing it doesn't work like that especially with the type of lower leg injury that uh they're saying that he has uh who knows you know this could be a situation where you know y'all let me know what you think it could be a situation where you know you don't have to play all the games, man. You just play the big time, prime time games. Uh, make sure you get healed. Um, if there's even a small type of injury, we're going to make sure you get healed in the best way. We're going to send you to the best uh, local um, or area hospitals that we can, not just our trainers. We're going to send you to Jackson Memorial Hospital or whatever it's called down there in Jackson. I'm just speculating right now. But the point is, they're going to do everything they can to make sure he's healthy. And when he come back, we'll see him on the practice field, making plays, throwing the ball in the air, getting picks, all of these things to prepare to play. And I think that could be, uh, as we've seen it been speculated, that uh, it could be at that Campbell game, which would be the homecoming game for Jackson State. And the thing about that is, as we transition to that, um, we might see Jackson State at, at, at all hands on deck for that Campbell game. And they're going to need all hands on deck for that Campbell game. And here's why. You better hope Coach Prime, and there's no knock on Coach Prime. I love Coach Prime, you know, dearly. But, you know, I'm going to speak by unbiasedly. And the point is this. You have to watch out. Be careful what you say. Be careful, you know, just like he's saying right now to Coach Eddie Robinson uh, Jr. and the whole Alabama State Hornet Swarm. He's telling them, you know, same thing make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. You're about this thing. Peace and Middle East. Show y'all.